Hey, AC guy 1948 here. This is part seven. As soon as I get back in the full screen here. Uh, video, full screen. There we go. Okay, we're back at the mansion. And if I would have, uh, I was messing around. It's a special tool to remove vacuum tubes TX in the TX and AT class. class. That was a TX. Because I tried it on the fire hydrant. And she said, no, it won't work on that, because that was like a WC-67. It's a TX-1138 tube, in perfect condition. It's a TX-1138 tube, and it looks burned out. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. Speck of dust. Uncle Chuck never made his bed. And I guess Doug can't make beds with a shovel. I don't make my bed either. <laughs> I never saw the point in that. It's just going to get messed up again the next night. Speck of dust. I like the Einstein picture. Got like his tongue sticking out there. I don't have ever seen him what up the stairs. All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the grand lobby. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. All right, so now we can go back to that video machine, put the tube in it. What's that? It's an LFG-1982 tube in perfect condition. No, won't work on it. It won't work on shot. that size tube. It's for a TX-1138 size tube. That's an LFG-198. Oh, oh yeah, that's another thing. The radio station we can pull out their... Uh, their tube, too, I think. Yep. Oh, I guess I could have. KSCUM's phone system is now out of order. Okay. And we're just going to take off. <laughs> um, no, I wanted to go to the... It fits perfectly. Looks like it's working. The instructions say, insert coupon for movie. Well, um, Looks pretty dark down there. I can't see anything there, but it's pretty stinky. Hmm. Well, I don't have It's a, a stub of a check that was made out to an attorney. Brant Balowick. Payment in full for will and reading. Maybe we can get in the um, Thimble Con to talk to him. It's locked. Okay, so can't talk to him yet. Uh, I don't think I've really done anything on A Street. Speck of dust. You got any ransom swag? Hey, Willie. Hi, Dolores. A long time no see. Well, that's what happens when you piss your uncle off by getting a fancy job at the video game factory. 
Good job on that, by the way. <laughs> Chuck was fuming. I'm sorry my Uncle Chuck destroyed your life. Your Uncle Chuck was a petty, egotistical, arrogant man. You're all right, Dolores. I guess in your case, the acorn does fall far from the tree. Uh, I think the main gist of the story was he got pinned on the uh, pillow factory fire. That basically ruined him. Um, so that'll answer that. See you, Willie. Can I give him the poopsie? Loose change? I better hold on to this. Okay, might need it. The future is never written. This head seems almost alive. I think I saw it move. Pretty disgusting head. There's a small name tag. Sep the Navigator Head. Okay. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park. I think that's going to help us. Store, Dolores. The bubble fish has a banana. How have things been since I left? Oh, same old, same old. Leonard ate all the donuts at the Quickie Pal. Ransom is still a jerk. Cryptozoologists are hunting the tentacle monsters. The usual. Huh. Well, you're the one with the exciting new life as a game developer. Tell me all about it. Do you really want to hear about my job? Yes, absolutely. Okay, but you gotta keep this under your scarf. We're gonna be bringing out these radical new text adventure games. But, plot twist, they're gonna have pictures instead of text. We're calling them clickers, because you have to click on the picture instead of just typing. Totally fresh, right? That sounds very nice, dear. I already read about that on one of those CompuServe chat rooms. You were on a CompuServe <laughs> chat room? Get a clue, dear. It's 1987. There's a whole new world of online hexing opening up, and there's no way I'm gonna miss out. That and the internet is great for monitoring my stock portfolio. I had no idea Voodoo was so high-tech these days. Um, all right. It's good to see you again, Marina. Dolores, you little mojo bean. So pleased to see you back in town. If anyone has given you any trouble in the big city, you say the word, and I'll put a hex on them. I've got a really good one I'm dying to use that will turn their bathing suit parts green. <laughs> Goodbye, Madame Marina. Come back anytime, Dolores. Oh, no, she Don't looks... touch the books unless you know what you want. I can't reach that. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of books. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. Jeez. What's at the top? Nothing. It's a book with a skull on the cover. Ah, not just any book with a skull on the cover. It's the Book of the Dead. Take it if you wish. It's on the house. But beware! Beware of what? Ah, nothing. It just sounded ominous. Okay. That's something I never got before. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want.
It's a special tool to remove vacuum tubes in the TX and AT class. That seems like a very dangerous bookshelf. <laughs> Alright. Well, I don't know what. He just see up mate. Is that it? If appendix is missing, make something up. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay. Loose change. Right. It says we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely's huh. first savings manager, Mr. El Palo. Oh, I gotta eat a hot dog. I can't! Oh, maybe it didn't save last time I did that. Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? I'm having an amazing time. It's good to have you back. I just uh, wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. You talking about me? <laughs> hey, look, getting you out of the will was a dick move, but I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory, long hours in his workshop, and vanishing for days. Anyway. Sounds like he had a meteor giving him, telling him what to do. <laughs> That's not. That has nothing to do with this game, but well. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Everything's on the menu board, but you can I'll only eat a hot, hot dog. dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Yeah. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. <laughs> Vomit this coming. This hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I uh gotta go. Oh, I never did pick up his notebook. <laughs> oh, well. I'm just going to leave it there. I feel better now. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Hi, Dolores. See you, no. Leonard. Come back soon, Dolores. Maps. Don't need one. Man eating plant. Can I give the man eating plant something? I'm here to Can serve. I give the man eating plant the poopsie? Oh. oh, I hope. Oh. Don't forget to smile at the camera. My boss likes happy people. Hi there. <laughs> I was hoping to make it grow. I hope it does make it burp. Oh, I Let like. Let me know if I can okay. help you find anything. Another Maniac Mansion reference. If you give the plant. So did it burps. <laughs> Speck of dust. To be honest, I'm not sure what they all do or if there's any point to them. I can unlock him. I, get, uh, I might have to have one of It's a ages. rusty old padlock. And it's locked. Hello? Ransom! Can you hear me? I guess he's busy in there. Okay. Go into the radio station. Special announcement. Pizza meeting tonight. Find Chet for the secret code. 
And now back to our special hostile takeover song. It's locked and bolted from the inside. Bolted on the inside. I remember that poster. Gave me nightmares. Interesting playlist. Tune Ahead by Razor and the Scumettes. Then Tune Ahead by <laughs> Razor and the Scumettes. Followed by Tune Ahead by Razor and the Scumettes. And featuring Tune Ahead by Razor and the Scumettes. And finally, Tune Ahead by... <laughs> Pretty disgusting. Looks like it was repaired with glue. Or something sticky. I don't want... <laughs> I don't think she'll climb it. I think Ransom's the only one that'll climb No way am I climbing that. Okay. I'm afraid of heights. Well... can't remember what you got to do there anyway. Um, I got to be getting close to an episode. Um, I really need to set a timer. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.